Hello guys, I am here to teach you how to fix your Pentax camera K30 or K50. First of all, I know my English is not really good, but I'm sure that you will understand what you have to do with your camera. Uh, the problem that I will talk about in this video is the aperture control problem. What is that? Uh, this Pentax camera have a problem uh, in the aperture control and uh, your camera will start to make only dark photos, really really dark photos because the aperture control of the lens is not working. Your camera have a lever that, that totes this lever here in the lens and this makes the aperture and this controls the aperture and open the lens like I'm doing here okay and the problem is that the aperture control of your camera is not working then how your photos that your camera make are with the lens closed like this because of that I will our photos will be really really dark okay and how we can fix this thing is really really easy uh, I have to say thank you very much for for the people from uh, Penta Forum from Husland I think they were the first one to discover how to solve this problem and also the the people from the from from Poland. Okay. Uh, first of all you you have to open your camera. There's not really difficult uh, to open First, you have to take out this bottom part here. It's really good to print a photo for your camera and make something like this. Put some uh, two face uh, tapes to collect these screws that you will have to take off. First you take up these screws and then you have to take out another these two screws here and I think for the K50 you don't need to take off these on this screw but I made and <coughs> these three screws here this one and this one are covered by this, this part of the camera and the others this screw is also covered okay you take off these screws and you the most it's really simple the most difficult thing is take out this part because the they really stuck get stuck in the camera and you have to make some force for the first time you open your camera uh, you are you are not you are not so uh, you you don't know what exactly what you have to do then you can be a little afraid to make uh, force in the measure or camera but you take off the screws and make some force and this will uh, get out uh, I was a little bit worried about this dial here but uh, there's no problem there's no this um, I think this will not uh, get broken 
when you take off. When you open your camera, you have to take care about this capacitor here. Um, I think the if you touch here, uh, it will not kill you, but certain I think this can make uh, this will really hurt other or this can put you to sleep for some minutes but here in K50 the is not easy to touch this accidentally the correct would be uh, this charge or uncharge this uh, flash capacitor but for K50 I think you don't need to make that uh, the problem that your uh, aperture control don't work is a little <coughs> part that is here in the camera I will point there is here there is a really small uh, magnetic actuator I don't know the, that's the name but I will show here in the computer screen because it is really really small part this is uh, the magnetic actuator how it works this have a permanent magnet here in this part and this hold this uh, horseshoe and when the camera needs to make make the system work uh, the coils here are uh, the, the coil will make this will make one movement in this magnet this will make uh, this little uh, gold pin here we will make this will make a movement here and when I open my camera it was not working I tried to make the photos but there was not movement then this is the problem of your, your camera how you can fix it some people in the forest say that uh, they have changed change change you have to change your uh, this horseshoe you can find another part of this component in another electrical equipment like this uh, laptop CD rooms or the this external DVD rooms because this is the same thing that makes this uh, movement to pull out then inside this uh, CD room external CD room we have exactly the same part from inside the cameras some people say that uh, there is another, another of these magnets in uh, some flash parts Okay, then uh, here in the K50, it's really easy to change this uh, this magnetic actuator. You just need to take off one screw. There is this little, really little screw. I don't know about about the K30, I think uh, maybe was is not possible to reach the screw directly here in the K50. You can use a screwdriver and you can uh, just uh, reach the screw. But uh, I saw in in the forums some photos that someone have drilled here 
in the K30 to assess the screw then I don't know if uh, for the K30 is uh, simple here in, uh, like here in the K50 other maybe in K30 you will need to uh, dis unassemble or, or disassemble more parts from your camera but here in the K50 is easier then uh, we will have it's good to take off he this uh, red thing that has here this is uh, to hold the screw then uh, you can take it take out with uh, some uh, knife other something that will make easy to turn the screw because this screw is really really small okay uh, well then th the people say that you you has to change this little uh, horseshoe I will show here on the computer how it looks like there is so there is something like this this horse horseshoe Uh, I didn't change this horseshoe from my camera because I um, I don't have here a, a CD drive or something that that I can take one. But uh, another another thing that uh, people said about it that you can fix or make this work again is to send part of this uh, horseshoe with uh, uh, sandpaper I will explain what I did and some other people didn't work uh, here I have the I will make a draw here okay here I have uh, draw for a horseshoe what I did with the sandpaper I took off this part of horseshoe and unfortunately I don't have a picture but uh, I don't know how much I uh, took off from this uh, horseshoe but I did and put again in the magnetic actuator and it now it works I have this camera here is already from two weeks opened and still working then I think this this is really really easy to to fix you just have to take take the screw take off this screw here take off the magnetic actuator pull pull off the the horseshoe that is in this magnetic actuator and uh, change change it if you have a spare part or the or you can just uh, sandpaper using a sandpaper take part I don't know exactly why it works but now the camera is working I can turn on here and make make a focus here and you see that the movement that it moves again and make the thoughts properly okay really simple thank you